Apple make a big song and dance about how easy it is for those of us who own both an iPhone or iPad and a Mac to start a GarageBand project on iOS and then move that project over to the Mac version to work on it in more detail. In this video, I'll show you how to do the opposite, how to take a project that you've started in GarageBand for Mac and move it over to iOS. A word of warning before we begin, this process isn't quite as smooth as sharing from iOS to Mac, so best to manage your expectations. Alright, in the GarageBand for Mac project that you want to shoot over to your iPad or iPhone, click on Share in the toolbar at the top. There are loads of different sharing options here, the one at the bottom is the one that we want to go for, Project to iOS. In the window that pops up, you'll have the opportunity to rename the project, add tags and all that good stuff. You can also select how the file will be saved. By far the most straightforward way is to save to iCloud Drive. This means that as long as both machines are connected to the internet, one shared your project file will be available practically instantaneously on your iPad or iPhone. If you're collaborating with someone or just would rather not use iCloud, you can save the project file to your Mac, say the desktop for example, then share it via AirDrop, iMessage, etc. For the purposes of this video though, I'll stick with iCloud. Hit save when you're happy and your file will be added to your iCloud drive. Jumping across to iOS now, I'm using my iPad here. Open the GarageBand app and you want to get to the project selection screen. GarageBand always opens to the last project you are working on, so hit the small note icon in the top corner to get here if needed. Under Locations, tap on iCloud Drive. You'll see a project here as you named it when exporting from Mac. Tap on it and… yeah, I told you to manage your expectations. Your GarageBand for Mac project is here, technically, albeit in a single mixed down audio file. I don't know, I'm sure there's a really good reason, but yeah, this is what you're stuck with. The good news here is that you can add extra tracks from within GarageBand for iOS to this project and then export it back across to your Mac and all of those added tracks will be transported back across as well. Now that's all fine and dandy but it's probably not why you clicked on this video. Well there is a workaround of sorts that will allow you to move a multi-track GarageBand project from Mac to iOS. Before we get into that though, I'd really appreciate it if you took a second and gave that like button a wee tickle. Cheers. Alright, back in GarageBand for Mac then, you're going to solo the first track that you want to export. Then exactly as we did earlier in the video, head to Share, then Project to GarageBand for iOS again. You'll get a wee pop-up that asks if you want to share the project again, just hit share and in the next window you might find it easier to name this file Master Project or something like that, as you're going to be adding the other tracks that you export into this one project. Repeat this process in GarageBand for Mac for all of the tracks that you want to port across, though when you come to the share window you may want to rename them to make them easier to organise and find on the iOS side. Once you've shared all your individual tracks, jump across to your iOS device again. Here is the master project that I shared across first, I'm not going to open that now, instead I'm going to open the second project file I shared with the other synth track in it. If I tap on the region itself, hit copy, then close out this project, then open the master project, I can create a new audio track, a clean vocal track is probably the easiest way to do this, then simply paste my other synth track into it. 
I think you can see where I'm going with this. Go through all of the other projects you shared with individual instruments in them, copying the regions and pasting them into your master project. Eventually, you'll have your whole project track by track available and ready to work on in GarageBand for iOS. A couple of things to remember here. Any effects applied to these tracks in GarageBand for Mac will be baked in when sharing them. So make sure you disable any plugins on tracks that you may want to add effects to on the iOS side before sharing them. Regardless of what type of track it was in GarageBand for Mac, when shared, your track will always be converted to an audio file. So make sure you're 100% happy with any MIDI regions or drummer track patterns before sharing them across. The upside of that is that you don't need to worry about syncing up individual regions to where they should be in your project timeline. The exported regions span the entire length of the project. Apple usually do a great job of integrating workflows between the Mac and iOS platforms. So this process really should be easier. And I tell you what, it's not the only niggling frustration that I have when it comes to GarageBand. 